Hi, this is Paul with the Text from Micro Center, and today we're going to show you how to expand your wireless network using the uh, Tenda W316R router and another Tenda router. Let's get started. Okay, so before you get started, you just want to make sure that both routers that you're using support WDS function. The wireless settings of both routers should be exactly the same, including the SSID channel security mode, algorithms, and, and password. That you'll actually see us do in the video. So the first step is to go ahead and open up a browser and go to 192.168.0.1 and then click on advanced, go to wireless settings, and then we want to go down to SSID because we want to change the SSIDs on both routers to be the same, so we're just going to make it WDS. Go to channel, make sure the channel's the same, so we're going to set it to channel 6. Then go to wireless security, you want to set it for WPA.PSK. I don't think it has to be WPA PSK, it just has to be the same on both routers. And then make make sure the algorithm is the same. And security key. We're just gonna go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just to keep it simple. And the last section we want to disable WPS and then click OK. Alright, the next steps uh, take place on the second router, so let's go ahead and switch over there. Alright, so now we're on the second the second router. Go ahead and click on advanced. And once again, we want to uh, want to change the SSID to match what we had on the first router. So it's WDS, and then change the channel to six. Click OK, and go to uh, the wireless security. Make sure the SSID is the same, and then you want to make sure that the password is the same as on the first router. And we're just going with the default here of one two three four five six seven eight. Click OK on that and then you want to come back the wireless basic settings and you want to click on network bridge WDS and then you want to scroll down and click on open scan and that's going to scan for other routers in the area you want to find the other router in the list that's WDS because that's the first router that we set up so select that and hit OK then you want to click on advanced settings then LAN settings and you want to change the IP address so instead of 192.168.0.1 we we're going to change it to 192.168.0.10 so make that change and hit OK then hit yes the router's going to reboot Okay, so go ahead and log in, admin, admin again, click OK, click on advanced, go to DHCP server, and you want to disable DHCP, and click OK, and this will reboot the router, and the next step takes place on the first router, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to that router. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go to 192.168.0.1, click on advanced settings, go up to wireless settings, and then you want to enable bridge mode. This is the same same thing we just did. So then we want to go down and you want to click on open scan. Go ahead and select the WDS entry, which is the other router, click OK. So that's it. You've just expanded your network using two tender routers. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.